First in the spotlight tonight is Andy Tucker, a former diplomat from Winchester. His subject, the author and secret agent Robert Bruce Lockhart. Next, Simon Spiro, a PhD student from Oxford. He'll be answering questions on human parasites. Rebecca Wickens, a local government officer from Brighton. Her subject, the English poet and novelist A.C. Swinburne. And John Sneddon, a teacher from the Forest of Dean. His subject, the 16th century siege of Malta. Hello and welcome to a new series of Mastermind with me, John Humphreys. 96 contenders will take up the challenge this year, all hoping to claim the title of Mastermind Champion and, of course, win this glass bowl. To do that, they must get through the first round before coming back to do it all again in the semi-final and then, ultimately, the grand final. At each stage, they'll have to answer questions on a different specialist subject, so, as ever, we can expect a pretty eclectic mix. Two minutes of questions on the specialist subject and two and a half minutes on general knowledge. So, let's get on with it and ask our first contender to join us, please. And your name is? Andy Tucker. Your occupation? I'm a former diplomat. And your specialist subject? The memoirs of Robert Bruce Lockhart. Robert Bruce Lockhart. Two minutes starting now. In which town in Fife was Lockhart born in September 1887? Anstruther. Yes, to which post in Moscow was he appointed in late 1911? Vice Consul. Yes, what was the name of the British ambassador based in St Petersburg whom Lockhart did not meet until he'd been in Russia for three years? Sir George Buchanan. Yes, Evgenia Petrovna Shalapina was Trotsky's secretary. Which journalist and associate of Lockhart did she later marry? Arthur Ransom. Yes, during the First World War, the secretary of the Moscow Art Theatre, Michael Lykiadopoulos, ran which department under Lockhart's supervision? The Propaganda Office. Yes, which woman did he first meet in March 1918 in St Petersburg? He was romantically linked with her for the rest of his time in Russia. Mura Budberg. Yes, Lockhart saw the Tsar on two occasions in the summer of 1912, the second time when he went to Moscow to celebrate the centenary of which battle? Borodino. Yes, which British agent first became known to Lockhart in May 1918 after walking up to the Kremlin and asking to see Lenin? Sidney Riley. Yes, at which restaurant on the Strand did Lockhart meet Maxim Litvinov, the Bolshevik ambassador in London, from whom he received a letter of recommendation to Trotsky. Lyons Corner House. Yes, what nationality was Lockhart's first wife, whom he married in 1912? Australian. Yes, at which former seminary that had become the Bolshevik headquarters did Lockhart meet Lenin in March 1918? Smolny. Yes, what official position in Moscow was held before the revolution by the former vice president of the Imperial Duma, Michael Chernikov, whom Lockhart describes as his best friend in Russia? The mayor of Moscow. Yes, who was the chief of the travelling film mission who tried to coax the Russians into fighting in the war by showing them films of the Western Front. Colonel Bromhead. Yes. Which social revolutionary shot Lenin on the 31st of August 1918, leading to Lockhart's arrest? Dora Kaplan. Correct. Who was the Czech foreign minister with whom Lockhart negotiated, leading to the establishment of the Anglo-Czechoslovak Bank? Benesch. Yes. What was the surname of the Lancashire brothers connected with the cotton industry who invited Lockhart to play football for their factory team in Moscow? Charnock. Correct. To which city was Lockhart travelling in April 1915 when he saw a train full of Austrian prisoners on their way to Siberia? Kiev. Yes. Who questioned Lockhart when he was arrested? I'll finish the question. After the attempt on Lenin's life. Peters. Yes, indeed. Jakob Peters. No passes. Andy Tucker, a perfect round. 18 points. <laughs> Well, our next contender, please. And your name is? Simon Spiro. Your occupation? PhD student. And your specialist subject? Human parasites. Human parasites in two minutes, starting now. What is the common name of the biggest parasites that can live in the human body? They can grow up to 60 feet long. Diphylobothrum latum. Common name? Fish tape worm. Yes, thank you. While travelling in South America, Charles Darwin was bitten by a bug he called Benkuka. This led to the theory that his later ill health was caused by which disease? Chagas disease. Yes, river blindness is found in which country of the Arabian Peninsula? Uh, Yemen. Yes, which disease caused by filarial worms in the lymph channels results in excessive growth of the skin and connective tissue? Ele elephantiasis. Yes, malaria is transmitted to humans by the bite of an infected female, Anopheles mosquito. Which parasite causes the disease? Plasmodium. Yes, which serious infectious disease that occurs in North and South America is caused by Rickettsia rickettsii transmitted from small mammals by tick bites? Typhus. Rocky Mountain spotted fever. Which class of parasitic flatworms are commonly referred to as flukes? Um... 
digenean um, trematodes? Yes. What common name is given to the carriers and transmitters of infectious agents in the genus Glossina? Um, tsetse flies. Yes, which usually harmless protozoan, a close relative of Plasmodium, is carried by billions of humans. It can be dangerous during pregnancy and in HIV-positive hosts. Toxoplasma gondii. Correct. What is the two-word scientific name of the tapeworm that can infect people who eat undercooked pork? Tenia solium. Correct. Which Scottish physician, described as the father of tropical medicine, first noticed that mosquitoes were vectors of lymphatic filariasis? Patrick Manson. Yes, what name is given to an aquatic crustacean such as Cyclops or Dioptimus that serves as an intermediate host to parasites? Um, inter uh, I don't pass. Which 19th century German doctor fed bladder worms to condemned prisoners to establish that they were the larval stage of the tapeworm? Kuchenmeister. Yes, what is the common name of the creature traditionally extracted by winding it round a stick after it bursts through the skin? It's the cause of Drachenkulia assassis. Guinea worm. Yes. Which nematode worm lives in the subcutaneous tissue and causes allergic reactions known as calabar swellings? Uh, on, um, lower, lower. Yes. Which biting insects are the vectors of the parasite Leishmania? Phlebotomum sandflies. Yes. What's the common name, I'll finish the question, of the devastating indigenous disease known as African trypanosomiasis, which causes weight loss and lethargy? Sleeping sickness. Is correct. You had one pass. That name of the aquatic crustacean was... Copy pod or copy pod, you have Simon Spiro, 15 points. <laughs> and our next contender, please. And your name is? Rebecca Wickens. Your occupation? Local government officer. And your chosen subject? The life and works of Elgin and Swinburne. Alden Swinburne in two minutes, starting now. Swinburne first achieved literary success with a verse drama published in 1865 and influenced by the death of his sister Edith. What was it? Atalanta in Caledon. Correct. While at Balliol College, Oxford, Swinburne met members of which artistic group who were decorating the Union Society Debating Hall? The Pre-Raphaelites. Yes. What's the title of the first play of Swinburne's trilogy on Mary, Queen of Scots, a figure who fascinated him? Shastalar. Yes. After he'd been rejected for military service, Swinburne climbed a witch cliff on the Isle of Wight to prove to himself that he wasn't a coward. Culver Cliff. Yes, in about 1867, he had a relationship with which actress introduced to him by Rossetti? Ada Menken. Correct. Swinburne had a particular affinity for which birds, writing a poem about one at Beachy Head in September 1886? Seagulls. Correct. Which method of punishment at Eton had a profound effect on him for the rest of his life? Flogging. Yes. His novel Lesbia Brandon was not published until 1952. What's the full name of its autobiographical central character? Uh, Reginald Satan. No, it's Herbert Satan. Which work by the Marquis de Sade did Swinburne appear to find highly amusing? It went on to influence his writings. Justine. Yes, what was the name of the woman whom Rossetti installed as a model in the house he shared with Swinburne? She was not welcomed by him. Fanny Cornforth. Correct. Which regent of France is the title character of his early Elizabethan style drama, The Queen Mother? Pass. What is the title of the poem that opens There Were Four Apples on the Bow? Pass. Which cousin and childhood friend married a distinguished soldier in 1865? Swinburne corresponded with her using an open code when they were older. Mary Gordon. Yes, or Mary Disney Leith. Which of the Channel Islands inspired The Garden of Simmer Sea, as well as a ballad that begins abreast and ahead of the sea is a crag's front cloven asunder? Sark. Correct. Swinburne's review of Baudelaire's Les Fleurs du Mal appeared in which magazine in 1862? The Saturday Review. The Spectator. Which poem, inspired by a Rossetti drawing, has the opening line, Three Damsels in the Queen's Chamber? Pass. Which Oxford society, founded by his friend John Nicholl and of which Swinburne was a member, was supposedly for men who were in poor health? The Old Mortality. Is correct. And you had three passes. A Christmas Carol was the poem inspired by the Rossetti drawing. The title of the poem that opens There Were Four Apples on the Bow is August and the regent of France was Catherine de' Medici. You have, Rebecca Wickens, 12 points. <laughs> and our final contender, please. And your name is? John Snedden. Your occupation? I'm a teacher. 
and your chosen subject. Is the Siege of Malta, 1565? The Siege of Malta in two minutes. Which Grand Master of the Order of the Knights of St John commanded the island's greatly outnumbered forces during the Siege of Malta in 1565? Valette. Yes, which fortress, the old capital of the island, was used as the main base for the Order's cavalry? Medina. Yes, in which bay in the south of Malta did the Turkish fleet eventually anchor when it first arrived at the island? Marsa Sirocco. Correct. What name was given to the eight national divisions into which the Knights of St John were separated? The Long. Yes. Which feast day celebrated on the 21st of June, 1565, did the order still observe on Malta, despite the constraints of being under siege? Corpus Christi. Yes. Who was the Grand Master's Latin secretary and the only English knight of the order to fight at the siege? Sir, Sir Oliver Starkey. Yes. Which elite unit of the Turkish army has been described as Christian by birth, Spartan by upbringing and Muslims by conversion? The Janissary. Yes. Who was considered a coward for delivering an overly pessimistic report on the state of St Elmo, but later died at the heart of the fighting for St Michael? Juan de la Serda. Correct. What single word was written on the arrow shot into the town of Begu by a spy in the Turkish army warning of an attack? Thursday. Yes. Which infamous corsair and governor of Tripoli, who was known as the Drawn Sword of Islam, was mortally wounded during the siege? Dragu? Yes. What did the Grand Master notoriously order to be fired from the cannons of St Angelo after the fall of St Elmo Fort? The heads of Turkish prisoners? Yes. Who was the Viceroy of Sicily who eventually sent a large relief force to Malta at the beginning of September? Don Garcia de Toledo. Correct. Which chief eunuch of the Sultan Seraglio owned a merchant ship carrying luxury goods which was captured by the order in 1564, thus provoking the attack on Malta? Custir Ali. Correct. Which defence force specially constructed in Venice was used to bar the channel between St Angelo and St Lea to the Turkish ships? The Great Chain? Correct. A flame-throwing weapon was used against the Turks attacking St Elmo's fort after they captured the rubble. In what name was it given, derived from the harsh snorting sound it made when alight? Trump. Yes. Which admiral was co-commander of the Turkish expedition alongside Lala Mustafa Pasha, who controlled the army? Piale. Yes. Who led the cavalry attack on the Turkish camp, which forced them to abandon their assaults on the 7th of August? Uh, Anastagi and Deluni. Yes. Chevalier de Luni. You, again, have a perfect round, John Sneddon. 17 points. <laughs> well, what a round. Let's have a look at all the scores. In fourth place, with 12 points, Rebecca Wickens. Third place, 15 points, Simon Spiro. Second place, with a normally unbeatable 17 points, John Snedden. But it was beaten, 18 points, Andy Tucker. <laughs> so, round two now, general knowledge. If there's a tie at the end of this round, then the number of passes is taken into account, and the contender with the fewer passes is the winner. And if they're tied on passes as well, well, then there's a tie break. The six highest-scoring runners-up will also be able to claim a place in the semi-final. So let's get on with it and ask Rebecca Wickens to join us again, please. And uh, 12 points is what you start with, your knowledge of AC Swinburne. Let's see how you do with your general knowledge, starting now, two and a half minutes. Which organ of the body is affected by hepatitis? Liver. Yes, which spicy soup originated in India and takes its name from the Tamil for pepper water? Malagatoni. Yes, what name is given to the position on the Earth's surface directly above the point of origin of an earthquake? The Pericline. The epicentre. Which explorer led the Imperial Transantarctic Expedition which left England on the ship Endurance in August 1914? Captain Scott. Shackleton. The Indistinguishable is the fourth symphony of which Danish composer who lived from 1865 to 1931? Sibelius. Nielsen. In gardening, what term for breaking up the surface of the soil is derived from a Greek word for a stylus or pencil? Pass. Which strident critic of Tony Blair resigned as International Development Secretary in 2003 and from the Labour Party itself in 2006? Diane Abbott. Claire Short. From which poem by Rupert Brooke did Iris Murdoch take the title of her novel An Unofficial Rose? Grantchester. The old vicarage, Grantchester. In June 1978, who broke the solo round-the-world sailing record by two days? She also became the first woman to sail single-handed around the world via Cape Horn. Pass. Which historic place of worship was badly damaged by fire in July 1984 after it was struck by lightning? Min York Minster. Yes, the town of Whitney in Oxfordshire was a centre for the manufacture of which woollen articles? Blankets. Yes. What name did the Scots give to Sir Henry Percy, the eldest son of the first Earl of Northumberland, because of the speed with which he attacked them? 
Hotspur. Yes. Which Spanish painter decorated the walls of his home, the Quinta del Sordo, or Home of the Deaf Man, with a series of murals known as the Black Paintings? Goya. Correct. Which seabirds, who nest in large colonies around Britain's coast, are famed for their spectacular headlong dives into the sea in search of fish? Gannett. Yes. Whose television roles include the dentist Ben Parkinson in Butterflies and Judy Dench's Aging Lover in As Time Goes By? Jeffrey Palmer. Correct. In which part of the body are the cuboid and cuneiform bones? In the ear. In the foot. The plot of which early Shakespeare comedy is based on the enmity between the towns of Syracuse and Ephesus? The Comedy of Errors. Yes. In certain card games, what name is given to a card that can have any value, suit or colour its holder wishes to designate? The Knave. A wild card, which Peruvian-born fashion photographer's pictures of Kate Moss have been published in a limited edition book, each side by him. Mario Testino. Yes, which operetta by Franz Lehár features characters from the fictional country of Pontevedero. The Merry Widow. Yes, what is the smallest of all the four main inhabited Balearic islands? Ibiza. No, it's Formentera. You had two passes. Naomi James was the uh, first woman to sail single-handedly around the world. And when you break up the surface of the soil, it is called scarifying. You have, Rebecca Wickens, 23 points. <laughs> and now Simon Spiro again, please. And uh, you start out with 15 points with your knowledge of those um, charming human parasites. Two and a half minutes on general knowledge now. The harmonica, sometimes known as the blues or French harp, has what common name? Um, the mouth organ? Yes. On which date of the year do women traditionally propose to men? Uh, the 29th of February. Yes. Which Italian nationalist name has been used for a woman's loose blouse and a type of biscuit? Uh, Garibaldi. Yes. In classical mythology, who is the Greek counterpart of the Roman goddess Diana? Uh, Athena. Artemis. What nickname was given to the Parliament convened by Oliver Cromwell in July 1653? It was derived from the surname of one of its members whose first name was Praise God. Pass. The adjective crepuscular refers particularly to which part of the day? Uh, the evening or the twi twilight. Yes, the twilight. Who joined Chelsea Football Club in January 2011 for a reported British record fee of £50 million? Uh, Dia. No, Torres. The ruins of which Cistercian Abbey founded in 1131 lie in the banks of the River Wye between Monmouth and Chepstow? Uh, Fountains Abbey. Tinton Abbey. Which playwright who was born in Dublin in 1751 wrote the comedies The Rivals and School for Scandal? Johnson. Sheridan. What word for a law or rule, especially of the church, comes from the Greek for a straight rod? Uh, pass. Which comedian who first came to attention as the clumsy cleaner in the sitcom Not Going Out won three trophies at the 2010 British Comedy Awards? Rob Brydon. Miranda Hart. Which Asian republic consists of over 17,500 islands and extends approximately 3,200 miles from east to west? Indonesia. Yes, whose last words when he was assassinated in 1948 are said to have been He Ram, meaning O oh God, then inscribed on his memorial in Delhi? Uh, Gandhi? Yes. The singer Liam Gallagher's band BDI consists of four members of which former band? Oasis? Yes. Cochise and Geronimo were leaders of which Native American tribe that inhabited the southwestern states? Uh, um, pass. In the novels by Douglas Adams, what type of organisation does Dirk Gently run? A holistic detective agency. Yes. Gustavus Adolphus, who was killed at the Battle of Lutzen in 1632 during the Thirty Years' War, was king of which country? Uh, Prussia. Sweden. A bath chap is made with the meat from the cheek and jaw of which animal? Uh, pig. Yes. Which poem by Allen Ginsberg opens with the line, I saw the best minds of my generation destroyed by madness? Pass. The furniture designer Robert Thompson used what small rodent as his signature? A mouse. Yes. Which Oscar-winning 2010 film charts the rise of the Facebook website? The Social Network. Yes. In biblical literature, what name for books written later than the Hebrew scriptures, such as Judith and the Wisdom of Solomon, comes from the Greek for hidden? Apocrypha. Yes. Four passes. The Ginsburg poem was Howl. The uh, Native American tribe uh, from the southwestern states, the Apache, uh, the word for law or rule, especially in the church, is canon, and the nickname for that parliament convened by Cromwell was Bare Bones. You have, Simon Spiro, 27 points. <laughs> and now, John Snedden again, please. 
And uh, you got all your questions right. So you've got 17 points with your knowledge of uh, the Siege of Malta. Test you on your general knowledge now. 27 is the score to beat so far. Let's see how you do. The town of Hay on Wye is particularly renowned for what kind of shops? Bookshops? Yes, the name of which Florentine statesman whose best known work is The Prince has become a byword for cunning and duplicity? Machiavelli. Yes, which British coin went into circulation on the 21st of April 1983? Uh, the pound coin? Yes. Whom did the then Lord Privy Seal, Lord Halifax, initially mistake for a footman when they first met in 1937? Nepal Chamberlain? Adolf Hitler. Which state of North East India is one of the world's largest tea producing areas? Assam? Yes. Which American illustrator who died in 1978 is best remembered for his covers for the Saturday Evening Post and his Four Freedoms, which were widely distributed during the Second World War? Edward Hopper? Norman Rockwell. Which future king became heir to the throne when his father, Frederick Louis, Prince of Wales, died in 1751? Um, pass. In Treasure Island, what's the name of Long John Silver's parrot who frequently squawks pieces of eight? Pass. Which regiment had its headquarters at Stirling Lines near Hereford for many years until it moved to RAF Creedon Hill in 1999? The SAS. Yes, which film is credited with introducing rock and roll to a wider audience with Bill Haley and his comets playing rock around the clock over the opening credits? Pass. In the 2011 Carling Cup final, who beat Arsenal 2-1 to, to win their first major trophy since 1963? Birmingham City. Yes, which South American capital was originally named City of the Kings by Francisco Pizarro because it was founded on the Feast of the Epiphany in 1535? Uh, Lima. Yes, the forerunner of which cult radio comedy series broadcast in 1951 was called Those Crazy People? The Goons. Yes, what name for the official report of the proceedings of the Houses of Parliament comes from the printer who took over their production from William Cobbett in 1809? Hansard. Correct, which English city holds an annual goose fair dating back to 1284? Nottingham. Yes, which song was written in the late 19th century by Eugène Potier and was the Soviet national anthem from 1917 to 1944? The Red Flag. The Internationale. Who succeeded Hugh Gateskill as leader of the Labour Party in 1963? Harold Wilson. Yes, which spice consists of the unopened dried flower buds of a tropical evergreen tree of the myrtle family? Uh, Caraway. No, the clove. Which virtuoso commissioned Berlioz to write the work Harold in Italy but never performed it because the solo viola part did not display his technique well enough? Pass. In Islam, what name is given to the Prophet Muhammad's journey from Mecca to Medina in July 622? Hijara? Yes. The 1,200-kilometre Paris-Brest to Paris competition, at first held in 1891, is the oldest event in which sport? Cycling. Cycling is correct. You had four passes. It was Paganini who uh, commissioned Berlioz to write that work. The Blackboard Jungle was the film credited with introducing rock and roll to a wider audience. Captain Flint said, pieces of eight. And George III was the future king. You have John Snedden. 30 points. <laughs> and finally, Andy Tucker again, please. And you start out with 18 points, a very big score, but 30 is a pretty big score to beat. So, let's see how you do with your general knowledge. Two and a half minutes starting now. Which Parisian singers remember for songs such as Non Je ne Grache Rien and La Vie en Rose? Edith Pierre. Yes, Edward John Smith, who was born in Hanley, Stoke-on-Trent in 1850, was the captain of which ill-fated ship? Pass. Automatoma, a deformation of the ear cartilage typically suffered by rugby players, is commonly known by what name? Cauliflower ear. Yes, which musical direction, denoting a moderately slow tempo, literally means going in Italian? Lago. And Dante, which town about 30 miles north of Aberdeen is one of Europe's largest white fish ports? Peterhead? Yes. What was the name of the aeroplane in which Charles Lindbergh made his historic transatlantic flight in May 1927? Spirit of St Louis. Correct. Which West London football club's home grounds have included the Gun Club at Wormwood Scrubs, Kilburn Cricket Club and White City? Queen's Park Rangers? Correct. Which former Conservative Prime Minister went on to serve under Asquith as First Lord of the Admiralty from 1915 to 16, and under Lloyd George as Foreign Secretary from 1916 to 19? Balfour. Yes. What is the name of the BBC's security correspondent who was seriously injured in an attack by gunmen in Saudi Arabia in 2004? Frank Gardner. Yes. Which common breakfast citrus fruit is a younger relative of the bigger and coarser pomelo or shaddock? 
grapefruit. Correct, in the late 1920s, which Swissborn architect helped design the range of easy chairs and settees numbered from LC1 onwards? Pass. Whose debut novel, The Collector, a psychological thriller, was first published in 1963? John Falls. Yes, which river forms a vast delta as it reaches its mouth on the Adriatic coast of Italy between Venice and Ravenna? The Po. Yes, the tenor Leo Sledzak supposedly originated the witticism What Times the Next Swan after missing his exit in which opera by Wagner? Lohengrin. Yes, whom did Napoleon Bonaparte once dismiss as a mere sepoy general? Uh, Wellington. Yes, Bernard Leach established a pottery at which Cornish resort in 1920? St Ives. Yes, when an aspiring actor approached John Gielgud for help preparing for an audition, Gielgud assumed he was a member of a brewing family. Who was he? Alec Guinness. Yes. During the Spanish Civil War, the nationalist general Emilio Mola Vidal is credited with coining what term for a clandestine force of subversive agents? The fifth column. Correct. Britain became a province of Rome in 43 AD under the rule of which Roman emperor? Claudius. Yes. Connie Booth was the first wife of which actor and writer? John Cleese. Correct. What dark-coloured Asian bird, renowned as a talker, belongs to the same family as the starling? The minor bird? Is correct. You had two passes. It was uh, Le Corbusier who helped design that range of chairs and settees. And uh, Edward John Smith was the captain of the, the Titanic. Titanic, as you have now, of course, got. Not that it matters, because you have a score, Andy Tucker, of 36 points. Well, what a score. Let's have a look at all of the scores. In fourth place with 23 points, good score in itself, Rebecca Wickham. Third place with 27 points, Simon Spiro, another good one. Second place with 30 points, a very high one, John Snedden. In first place with a remarkable 36 points, Andy Tucker. Which means, of course, that Andy Tucker is tonight's winner and goes through to the semi-finals. Congratulations to him. Commiserations to John Snedden, but with that score of 30, it is highly likely that we will see him again in the semi-final. Now, if you would like to play an online version of Mastermind or be a contender on the next series, do go to our website, bbc.co.uk stroke mastermind, and do join us next time for more Masterminds. Thank you for watching. Goodbye. Migratory geese, swans visiting from Siberia. It can only be autumn watch. We're with the team live next here on BBC Two. Or if you fancy more quizzing action, a question of sport gets going over on BBC One now.